What is going on YouTube and today we're back with another video. This time it's going to be my story on how I got into Warframe. It's not going to be anything super long or super complicated but I just wanted to share my experience with the best free to play game on Steam. The first time I ever saw Warframe was in high school when I went to visit my cousin in Virginia. He and my brother were playing a game, probably Smash Bros or something. Something that was only two players and I couldn't play because I was the third. So what he did is he gave me his laptop, some old cheap, it really doesn't matter. He gave me his laptop. and. He pulled up Warframe and he said, this is a new game I found, play that while I beat your brother. So at first it was like, whatever, it's just a game, I wanted to play Smash Bros. But I loaded it up and the first thing that caught my attention was the space. So. The UI is a lot different than it was today. The UI then was like space and some circles and some really basic looking squares. I'm sure you've seen pictures and videos all over the internet. But basically, the first, the first thing I saw was that this was a sci-fi game. So I was already like, let me see what this is about. My cousin had Excalibur as his starter Warframe. So he loaded up some mission and gave me his controller that was in the USB port of the laptop. And that was the start of the way the movement felt was in a word, just really nice. <laughs> um, it just felt really good to bullet jump and do all the other stuff. The loading screen at the time was like, I'm, I know I'm going back and forth, but I just, I, I'm telling you guys things as I remember them. The loading screen at the time was your Warframe and three other Warframes. Like a, a like a picture, sort of. Your Warframe would be in one spot, in a one pose, and the other three would be in separate poses. It would just like make its own little epic scenery while the game loaded. That's been replaced now with roller coaster sets, but you know. So I only got to play for maybe. 30 45 minutes. Not long, but not too short either. Enough to pique my interest before it was time for us to go. At that time, I think I lived in Georgia, so I couldn't just go see my cousin because he lived in Virginia. Now I live in Maryland, which is not as far as a drive or anything, but the fact of the matter is, I didn't have my own laptop or current gen game console, so I couldn't play Warframe on my own and I want to say a few years went by the game dropped off my radar completely forgot about it but then I got my it was time for me to go to college and I had to get my own laptop for school and the first thing I did once I got that laptop set up and all that stuff, downloaded Steam, the first thing I did was go check out some games. See, you know, see what I could run on the terrible laptop. Saw some forums where people wanted to know about some good free to play games. And someone somewhere said, try Warframe, it runs on a potato. So in my mind, I'm like, well, this laptop is pretty much a potato. 
So let's give it a try. And the moment I saw the Steam page, it all came back to me. I said, holy shit, this is that game. I didn't go tell my cousin or anything. Nothing stupid like that. I just downloaded the game and immediately started playing. And I first I I had an account and I played it for a little while. Uh That's right, I remember. So in the 30 45 minutes I had my cousin's laptop. The first 15 minutes I was playing on his account. But I told him I wanted my own thing, so he had to stop playing Smash Bros and walk me through that. And I chose Loki as my starter. And yeah, it was I didn't really get to play with my own account too much. But it's just like I had my own account. And I was like, this is great. And then I had to leave and all that stuff. But fast forward back to college preparation and I couldn't remember my my account or any of that stuff. I didn't know what email I used, I didn't know the password, I didn't, I didn't know anything. I had to start over from scratch. It wasn't until way later, maybe the middle of last year, that I even remembered my other account, like the login and stuff. But by that time, I was already mastery rank 14 or so, and the original account was still Master Wank 1 or 2, something around there. So I couldn't just put down my current account, just to go back to the other one. So the first thing I remember from the current account was I was looking through the store, looking at all the frames, because the, the UI, everything looked completely different from what I remembered so I was looking at the marketplace and I was reading up all the warframes and maybe it was because he was first on the list because his name started with A but Ash really really caught my attention the whole uh, assassin vibe he had going on there I was I'm, I still am really into like stealth in general I love stealth so Ash could be invisible kill things you know, Bladestorm, all that, all that good Ash goodness. So, the first thing I, the first thing I remember in that regard was some clan I joined, uh, I don't remember the clan name, but I do remember the clan leader. His name is Predation, like Predator, but Predation. I still have him on, uh, on Steam. Anyway, uh, one of the guys from that clan was like, hey, I'll help you grind for Ash. At the time, I didn't know Ash was hard to get because of the whole manics and all that other stuff. He just, I'll help you out because, you know, new player, Warframe community, you guys have heard it all before. So I said, sure thing, let's do this. Spent the next two, three hours just farming manics. And I, and I got all the stuff I needed for Ash and I started and I almost started building him turns out that I needed some materials so we spent like the next hour farming materials just so I could build Ash and that was the first real experience I had with Warframe is just this random dude taking three four hours out of his day to help me get a frame I wanted on a whim and I have, I haven't used Ash in months, in a, in a long time. I haven't picked up Ash. I don't. Maybe it's the rework, or the re rework. I don't. I just don't like Ash in comparison to Gara, or Oberon, or Excal. Just not really my kind of, my kind of guy. So. For him to take, and I'm pretty sure he knew that I wasn't, like, dead set on this frame or anything like that. It's just, hey, there's this newbie who wants Ash, I'm going to help him out. 
spend three hours in my day. And at the time, I didn't know that was anything uh, special. I didn't think about it too much because I, I'm, I, I wasn't a, a big gamer. Uh, I mean, I, I've been gaming my whole life, honestly, but I wasn't a big like uh, multiplayer game type user. So I'm not, I wasn't used to like, I've tried MMOs in the past, but I've, I'm not used to interacting with people, I, I suppose, in the game sense. So I didn't know that it was irregular for people to spend time helping new players. Later on, when I was talking with some people about Warframe, they were like, yeah, the Warframe community is great. All this stuff, and I was like, "Yeah, it's super." It's like, "Yeah, you don't see all this this kindness and and all this other stuff in other MMOs, or MMO like games, or you know, multiplayer games." And I was like, "What do you mean?" And he he told me that in other games, if you say that Ash situation, if I was like, "Oh wow, I really want Ash. Can anyone help me out?" or anything like that, they would have been like help yourself noob or some other type of bullshit you know just something that would have been like no I'm not gonna help you do it yourself and that was that's when it really hit me cuz it's like it wasn't just ash like I've got that clan gave me mods they explained raids just I they basically taught me how to warframe without me having to ask and they were super kind about it. They were very patient, all that other type of stuff. I like to say I uh, figured out Warframe on my own. Like I got the basic gist of everything, like mods. I was like, okay, you put this here, you get more range, you get more strength. I got the basic gist of everything, but they're the ones who really like explain the nuances and all that other type of stuff. So I don't, I never really experienced that whole new player learning curve that people are talking about now because from the start, I already, I had a really good support group. Because the first thing I do when I play MMOs is I find a clan that's like, because you know, they're always advertising in world chat, like recruiting newbies and all this type of stuff. The first thing I usually do when I go play an MMO for the first time is just go jump in a clan that says to help me out. Right? That's that's what I think that's what normal people do, but maybe it's not, you know. The first time I did it, it was just like, "Hey, I don't know anything about this game. You said you're recruiting, help me out." And it was like, "Yeah, okay, whatever." You know? So when I did it in Warframe, it wasn't anything spectacular. And, um, yeah, I didn't have the whole learning curve thing. Anything I wanted explained to me was explained to me. Uh, they taught me this one thing in that clan that apparently is like a Warframe universal rule. Say you want a mod, right? Say you want a uh, unranked steel fiber mod, right? But you can't find one that's not cracked. In Warframe, when you first start out, you get cracked mods, which is like shitty versions of like actual mods, but like they're damaged or whatever, so they don't get like the full effect. So, say you wanted an undamaged steel fiber. If so, uh, someone in the clan wanted to give you one, which was very common, they were like, yeah, sure, I've got tons of these things, take one someone wanted to give you one instead of you giving them platinum or some you know some item of a value they would just like just give me an ammo drum and I was like I couldn't possibly give you I, I couldn't possibly give you an ammo drum ammo drum is the most common mod in Warframe you will get this mod doing literally anything besides like really really high level content literally anything you will I guarantee you will walk away with an ammo drum. So he was like, 
give me an ammo drum. And it's just any time I got any any trading with anyone, it was just I'll take an ammo drum. Go ahead, give me an ammo drum. And I I thought it was just that clan. I thought it was just those guys being really nice to me. But when I left that clan and joined, <coughs> uh, what's it called? Etnia Noir, something like that. I, uh, I don't I don't remember the name of it, but it's. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen, or maybe I'll go looking for it. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, when I joined that clan, they said the same thing. Oh, just give me an ammo drum. You want a corrupted mod? Just just give me an ammo drum. And it didn't really make sense to me at the time, but when that person explained that the Warframe community is so nice and so great, it just it really hit home. That wow, these people are really helping me out here. So I try to that's I've that's what I try to do in my current clan. Uh, I think it's a shadow clan, smallest size. Um, they were primarily Destiny players. I, I joined that clan because I uh, uh, wanted to play Destiny. I, I got Destiny 2 pre order and all that stuff. You can imagine how that went down. So, after I kind of dropped Destiny, I went back to Warframe and some of the guys were like, hey, what's this game that Discord? says you're always playing it's like oh this is warframe it's basically a better destiny and it's free and people are like oh yeah i used to play that and you know got a little small little following of people who was like let's give warframe a shot so there's maybe five six clan members out of a out of a 50 50 60 group of people who were primarily destiny players who was like let me give warframe a try And, you know, I haven't heard anything bad. They haven't said anything bad about it. There was this one guy, he trolled us for a little bit. But, you know, no one legitimately says anything bad about Warframe. I mean, yeah, you got your criticism here and there, but nothing literally like how Destiny 2 is. We've, we've all heard the complaints about Destiny 2. I don't need to go onto a whole tangent about that. But you don't hear anything like that about Warframe and to me that's that's amazing um, so yeah this isn't a super long video or anything I know it's getting along with the 20 minute mark but just I was on my cousin's laptop made an account discovered it years later and haven't put it down since I've been encouraging people in multiple Facebook groups, Twitter, just social media in general, just telling people this game is great. I've been playing it for three, three years now. Just about three, three and a half years. And it's just great. You have to try it. People's like, oh, I, used, I tried it back in 2013, 2014. I was like, no, you need to pick it up again. It's, you know, it's really, it's evolving. It's like a Pokemon with like more than three evolutions. It's just... It's evolving. It's always, always something new. And with Fortuna, Real Jack, and New War coming out, I'm doubling down on what I'm telling people. Like, look, it's not the same game you played uh, in 2014. It's it's a whole new beast. So it's, it's a whole new experience, and you got to try it out. And hopefully, this video of just me ranting will get someone to you know pick it up and try it again because Warframe definitely deserves your attention don't take it from me take it from skill up take it from Brozine, take it from Iflin, take it from Total Biscuit take it from Life of Rio take it from a gay guy plays take it from uh, original wicked fun just all these big youtubers Eric's Gaming, all these big YouTubers saying the same thing. This game is great. You need to try it. People who normally don't recommend things to people are recommending this game to people. Like, I don't I don't know what else to tell you. Try Warframe. Play Warframe. 
and and give it a fair shot. Some things you're not gonna understand right away. Ask people, ask anyone. Region chat, trade chat, recruiting chat. Just ask someone. I guarantee you'll find someone on Twitter or Instagram, Facebook. Ask someone, you will get an answer. You don't even have to go read the wiki. Just if you ask, you will get answers. I promise. People who pick up Warframe and put it right back down, I guarantee you they'll say, oh, I didn't understand this and I just left. They'll, they do, won't tell you they asked anything. They won't say that they looked it up themselves. They'll just be like, oh, well, I didn't understand X, Y, and Z. It's, it's never just one thing. It's just like a couple things. The, the, like I said, the new player experience isn't that great, but I never experienced it, so I can't really say from personal experience. But from every story I've heard about people who didn't like Warframe, besides the people who legitimately don't like looters or looter shooters, all of them would be like, oh, well, I didn't like 1, 2, and 3, A, B, and C, or X, Y, Z, so I put it down. Or I didn't understand these things, so I put it down. They didn't ask anyone. They didn't, hey, what's this? Or any of that type of stuff. So if there's something you don't know about Warframe, ask someone. I guarantee once you get over that uh, initial hump, it's smooth sailing. Digital Extremes is such a great developer. I've, in all my years of gaming, solo, multiplayer, in all of my years of gaming, I've never seen developers who listen to the community as well as Digital Extremes. Maybe my scope is just small, but it's I'm used to EA and publishers like that who don't actually um, communicate with their audience to the point where individual instances of the developers talking with the community was like praised and like attention was brought to it I think um, I don't remember what game it was but the developers just said we're looking into it about some bug and the community was just like holy shit they're actually actually doing something it was a decent game, but the developers just just didn't talk to the community. And obviously that's a worst case scenario, but D DE, Digital Extreme, is the best case scenario. So you don't have to be worried about supporting a bad publisher, a bad uh, company, or anything like that. If you really want to know more about DE, you can check out No Clips, two-part documentary on Warframe and Digital Extreme's journey from literally the bottom to the top. Uh, I will I will include the link to those videos in the description, as well as the YouTubers I mentioned who are telling you play Warframe. I'm not gonna link you to any specific videos, just go check out the channel, you'll see for yourself. Someone told me that Warframe is a destiny killer. It's you can't kill what's already dead. That's that's my say on it. But seriously, I don't think Warframe is a destiny killer. Warframe is so far above destiny in the things that it does that it's basically the equivalent of a grown man killing a baby. Destiny does so many things wrong that Warframe does right. Destiny does a few things right that Warframe also does right. There's very there's very few things that Warframe does wrong. And don't get me wrong, there are things that Warframe does wrong. But you'll be hard pressed to find them. Like, you actually have to search. And that's just about everything I have to say on this. I'm not going to crop this audio or anything like that. I'm just going to spruce it up, make sure it sounds nice, and I'm just going to throw it into the video. I recorded ahead of time, I recorded 
two hours of Warframe gameplay and this looks like it's going to be a 30 minute video of me just talking so you know what I've definitely got enough footage for that um, thanks for watching guys or listening uh, like comment subscribe check out the channels in the description check out the videos in the description uh, go check out the play Warframe Twitter account um, Instagram social media just all that stuff I will also link Rebecca Ford, Steve Sinclair, um, Megan, you know, just some Warframe devs, just to show you, show you personally that these people talk to the community. Just, you can just go look, they're constantly talking with people about things. Steve in particular has been having a field day showing off some of the Railjack stuff in Fortuna. He's just... Steve's been looking forward to Railjack for a long time. There was a leaked video a couple years back um, about him working on it. And him and all of us geeks, <laughs> we've been waiting for something like this for a long time. So go, go say hi to Steve. I guarantee you and he will both appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. GK out.